video, I'm going to show you how to make the maze for a maze game in Scratch. First, you want to be sure that you are signed in by looking in the upper right corner and look for your username right here. Then, we are going to create a new project and you should only do this once. So we will click on create over here on the upper left corner by the Scratch logo. After clicking on create, you are going to want to name your project because it's not a good idea to have a bunch of untitled projects. This will make it easy to find the next time you go to work on it. So let's save this project as maze game. And now you're ready to start drawing the maze on the stage. It's important that we use the stage uh, for this project because all the remaining video tutorials will be based on drawing your maze on the stage. So down here in the bottom right corner, you want to click on Stage. And then you go to Backdrops. You click on this middle tab right here. And the first thing we're going to do is actually rename the costume to Maze. That will be useful because later on we are going to add another backdrop for our instructions. So you can just type Maze and then press the Tab key or click out of it to finalize that. Next, we're going to change the line size or the outline size to 8. That will help solve some problems or eliminate or avoid some problems later on with line thickness. And then we're going to grab the line tool. And in the simplest form, you could do a three line maze or even a single line maze like this. And I'm going to hold down the shift key as I draw because then the line snaps to either horizontal, 45s, or vertical. You could just simply do that, have your sprite start here, and then they have to go around this line. To make it a little bit more advanced, you could add another line right here, and another line right here. So now the sprite would start here, and they could go around these lines like that. Okay, those are simple ideas. Um, I'm going to use the select tool to drag a box around these to select all of them and delete them to show you some other ideas. But again, I'll review that. You could just do a very simple maze with a handful of lines like this. I'm going to hold down the shift key. I'm going to start by going to there. And then I could start on this side and come over to here and just keep going back and forth. And if you look over here on the right side, so you could start the cat. We, you'll, I'll show you how to make this smaller in the next video. But you would start, and we don't want to click on the cat or we leave the stage. So let's go back to the stage. Start up here. You'd have the cat move across the screen and just keep doing that until they get to the end. All right. And again, I'm going to uh, grab my select tool. And I can actually do Control A here, and I can press Delete. And you could make your maze a little bit more sophisticated by bringing a line down here. Well, we have to select the line tool. You come down here like this. And it doesn't matter that we go outside of this workspace. You'll see it just goes all the way to the edge here. One thing you do want to avoid is being too short and not coming all the way to the edge. So let's undo that, Control Z. So I'm going to come down vertically, then I'm going to come across, and then I'm going to go up. So now my player will have to go up there and then I could come down and give the player the option of going out this way or down this way by doing this. And then I'll bring this down here and go that way. So now they have to go up, they have to start here, come down, go up. They have a choice whether they want to go that way or this way. And then I can just continue with my maze and draw a line. I can undo that one. Draw a line vertical so they come up here. I can bring this over and down. You want to have them at least go a little ways before you make this a dead end. So I can make this a dead end right here like that. Okay, so that you're trying to trick or fool your player into going this way before they reach the dead end. You can Manipulate or move these lines after they're drawn. You just click on the arrow tool, 
can click here and you can move that down and then you can actually resize it like that. So even here, this line doesn't line up so we can move that over. This line doesn't line up with that line so we can click on that and use the two way arrow to drag that over. So you can get your maze looking pretty good. We could drag this down and then drag that down. By using the select tool and then clicking on various lines, you can resize, move, etc. You can do different things to get your maze looking really good. You don't have to do anything this advanced or sophisticated. I said you could go with the, I'm going to do control A here, press the backspace key. You could just go with a simple maze like this and move on to the next video. If you see save now up here in the right corner, uh, it's a good idea to go ahead and click on that. Scratch does auto save, but it's only every five minutes. So um, it's a good idea to go ahead and click save now when you see that in the upper right corner. And that's it for this video.